Hey Yamaha boat fans. I just got a Yamaha AR190 and I got a bunch of friends that were asking to uh, kind of do a video about it to see some of the specs and the features. So I want to start off by just showing you the trailer. Been really happy with the trailer. Heavy duty trailer, comes with automatic disc brakes. Um, it's got the swing away tongue that's standard. And uh, as you can see, the great thing about the swing away tongue is, is that it actually comes under the overall length of the boat and it does come standard with, with this swing away trailer. But, so the overall boat measures 19 feet, five inches, and as you can see, it comes right over the trailer. This is a standard size garage, it's 19 feet, six inches. So yeah, I have a half an inch clearance on both sides, but it does fit. So uh, for all the people wondering out there, if it fits in a standard size garage, it does. The only other thing that I wanted to show people because people were asking is exactly in terms of the height and I was extremely close on the height. I got a tape measure here to show you my height uh, on my garage. As you can see, it is 83. Actually, I got to make sure it's all the way at the bottom. It's 83 and a half. So I'm, I'm 83 and a half right there. And I'm not kidding. It is, it, it grazes, it grazes the very top because it actually says in the specs that the folded wakeboard tower can fit uh, under 83.5, so it just barely fits. I actually have these poles that I put to push my garage door up, because that can sometimes be an issue. Um, but I've got these poles that I end up putting uh, at the bottom of the garage door to hold it open while it slides in, but no modifications necessary, no deflating of the tires, the one thing that we had to do is make sure that it's that it actually trailers level and is not higher on one side than the other because if it is, you're not going to be able to have it fit. So I ended up going with the uh, gray color. Here's kind of what the body looks like on the AR190 2021. Um, and you've got your uh, gasoline tank vent right there stainless steel and this is the uh, 40 gallon come standard 40 gallon fuel tank takes 87 octane unleaded unleaded fuel and love absolutely love the swim platform back here um, it's one of our favorite features of the Yamaha jet boat design but um, as you can see it's got these cup holders here um, it's got the uh, the grip matting marine grade and uh, it's got a stainless steel telescoping ladder uh, right underneath there with the handles to pull up for coming up out of the water. Um, and I'm gonna get up on the boat here and show you some other stuff. Okay, at the back of the swim deck, you've got this rear access point that you open up. And over here, it's got the automatic kill switch. Kills the engine if you haven't already shut that off, which is great as a safety feature. And then down here, you've got your clean out port in case you get any kind of kelp or weeds stuck in the impeller and the intake. And you can see there, uh, unlock and lock. So we go in here, we go counterclockwise, comes up and out. You can see right there where it says set. So that goes right back down in. And you can see the little tab there. So that goes into that section and then clicks back into place. That's a really helpful feature there. All right, so one of the other things that's nice about the swim deck is it actually does have uh, a ski toe uh, eyelet here to be able to put on. Um, and it's easy on, easy off, which is nice. We used it for uh, tubers and for water skiing. And, um, you know, it just has the uh, uh, kind of more water level tow height coming over here uh it's got these quick release tabs um, that are able to just unscrew really quickly and then be able to set down this holds the tension on the aluminum wakeboard tower and like i said this folds the 83 and a half it has the bimini um on it which is really nice because on our other boat we used to have to put the things up separately, but the Vimini just collapses and it goes actually with the aluminum tower. And I gotta say, I'm super pleased with the, uh, the, the strength and the heavy duty build on the wakeboard tower. Um, really 
good construction on it and super easy to be able to put down. Another standard feature that we absolutely love is the table that comes with it. My wife loves this. Two stainless steel cup holders really quickly goes into place here. I'll take it off, let you see um, how it comes apart. It's got this quick release uh, valve there. And this actually, it's got storage points for it, um, little anchors inside uh, those lockers there. So it's really, really pretty easy. That just snaps right into place. And this goes back down on the top. And uh, that's just really nice. I remember um, we had a uh, bay liner before and we had to pay extra for uh, the table to be added on. Some of the other things that I love about this area, you can see it's really nice and spacious, but um, it's got these cup holders everywhere. We counted 14 total in the book, in the whole boat, but you got two here, you got two more here, two here, um, really kind of throughout the boat, you'll continue to see, but I wanted to show you the uh, engine compartment here. So this comes off easily too, but we'll just leave it on for now. I'm just gonna move that out of the way. Here is the 1.8 liter, 200 horsepower uh, Yamaha Marine motor, but um, kind of legendary here in the industry, but it uh, it provides a lot of power. We, we had five people when we took it out last week and uh, had absolutely no problem. We hit a top speed of right around 40, but um, really a great motor. We've been really happy with it. Okay, here's the dash. And first off, we've got the uh, Jensen uh, Marine Grade stereo package. It comes standard with four different speakers and uh, have really enjoyed this. It's got a Bluetooth connection to connect to your smartphone, um, AM, FM radio, and uh, sounds great. I'm gonna put the key in here and show you the 4.3 inch Yamaha Connects screen. And this has got uh, all kinds of uh, gauges on it that have been great. So first you've got your uh, your fuel gauge there. I'm at 63%. Uh, you've got your depth sounder, digital depth sounder. You got your RPM, your tachometer, uh, your battery. Uh, you cycle through these guys. Uh, 26 miles, 10.4 gallons. It gives you gallons per hour. It's got your water temperature. Um, just some nice Nice features uh, there. Got a clock and uh, a couple other settings, but that's been that was that was really nice. It's also got this adjustable smartphone holder for uh, any size smartphone. Over here, it's got your uh, auxiliary input for um, you know stereo or music, and then it's got a USB jack and a 12 volt uh, charger, which is great to have all just kind of here in the same area. Coming over here, you got your uh, Yamaha Cruise Assist, uh, which has been which is really good, and I'll show you that in another video on the water. But um, lets you just lock in the speed. Also, the no wake mode lets you dial down and dial up, you know, by one mile an hour, um, just to be able to kind of really control the boat speed when you're uh, kind of in the docking area or um, when you're uh, going in the five mile an hour zone. You got the horn here. And you've got your bilge pump. These guys right here are the circuit breakers in case fuse blows there. So um, you've got your uh, navigation lights right there. Um, you've got your courtesy lights there. Come on over here. Um, you got the blower there and your ignition switch here. Uh, you can see over here, your safety switch. You've got two uh, cup holders. Um, I love too this on the in the captain's chair that you've got this booster right here. My wife loves this because you put that up and uh, she sits on there to be able to see over the top um, of the windshield. So that's really nice. This also adjusts, so um, this can swivel around and you can sit at the table, which uh, pretty nice feature. And it locks back in place. I generally tend to drive though with it down. Also, it's got the adjustable uh, steering wheel to adjust for your 
kind of ease there and comfort. And we've had the rack and pinion steering on this has been really easy to control. Um, had a little trouble with the docking, but I'm just kind of learning, getting used to a, a jet boat. So, um, but have really enjoyed it so far. Okay, other stuff here on the windshield. Really pretty heavy duty windshield. It's got, um, you know, a little tie down snap here for when you're going along. I'd be able to put that there. This locks it into place once it folds over. So that's nice. Wanted to point out though, that when you're getting into your standard garage, see we've got shelving over on that side. You can see we've got shelving. So we weren't able to go all the way over. I've seen some other videos of getting AR-190s in standard size garages and they go over close to the wall. But we've got shelving, which we have to have. My wife mandates that and we really need the room. But you are getting close to this, but here's, a, here's the deal. We found out that this, that we would, this is lower than the actual, so this is more like 81, but the way that we kind of were able to go uh, right at this location, it's not the highest point on the wakeboard tower. So the highest point's over on that far side. So uh, by kind of putting it, um, I don't know, it's about a foot and a half from the edge of the boat, uh, this still cleared it. And this is like I say, at about 81 inches. Okay, over here we've got um, a good amount of room in the bow. Um, what, what, what I actually like about this boat though is the bow is a little smaller, uh, a little more compacted because they, they really made, you know, that, uh, that J uh, seating area there um, a lot more spacious, which honestly, I really, we really like that there's so much room back there really room for like two families if you put some kiddos up here but um anyhow you've got plenty of room up here at the bow you got two more speakers here with the jensen marine stereo you got more um uh cup holders there another cup holder there and another cup holder at the back you got your handles these again like i say are hinged which is great inside you've got again that gray industrial gray carpet um up here nice little feature was this anchor it's got a dedicated um you know anchor area and uh this was all came standard and it's got these um you know these holders there to be able to put it into place so that's really nice okay that one actually though just kind of goes into place and um it does not have snaps but because it's at the front we haven't had any trouble with it. And then over here, same kind of thing. We've got our wetsuits in there. Uh, but again, a lot of room. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm gonna be posting more videos of us out on the water, but that's the Yamaha AR190 and it does fit in a standard size garage, 19 feet, six inches.